Alright guys, so with the release of iOS 17, it came this new feature called Interactive Widgets. This basically allows you to add widgets to your home screen on your iPhone that you can interact with directly inside that widget without having the need to click on the widget to go and open up the main app. I'm going to showcase my top five interactive widgets at this stage. Although this is quite new, there's a lot of companies that are still developing this, so there's not like hundreds and hundreds of different types of apps that support interactive widgets at this point. And of course, there's going to be more and more as time passes. But at this very early stage, these are the ones that I find to be most practical that you can use on a daily basis. Let's take a look at how interactive widgets work. Okay, so the first one here is called to-do list. This is very simple. You can create a whole bunch of tasks that you have to schedule for your to-do list, for your shopping, whatever you want to. And then you can actually tick them off directly from inside this widget. If I just show you the app itself, I've scheduled a whole bunch of sample things that I need to perform myself. You can go back and you can create as many lists as you want from all these different types of categories. So things you want to schedule up front, your shopping list, just a generic to-do list, you can have a work list. And if you get the premium version, you can create as many lists as you like. So if we go back to the home screen, you can see I've got five things scheduled. I've got five things I got on my shopping list. All I need to do is just tap that from inside the widget and it marks it as done. Very simple, very clean, very nice little interface that we have there. And you can also see things that are due to be completed by end of today. I can go ahead and mark all of these as and when I need to, so I don't ever have the need to open up the app directly. And this is a very nice app, and I'll link all of the apps from the App Store down in my description below. Second, this is called a simple calculator widget, and uh, it's in the name. You can just set up a little calculator from your home screen without looking for the actual calculator app. And of course, you know what this is for, so you can just do your calculations directly from here. And it's very nice and easy to use. I've only found there's only a couple of interactive calculator widgets on the market at the moment. And of course, there'll be a lot more as time passes, but this is quite nice and clean. And just to have it there, it kind of resembles when I used to have a calculator in the side panel of Mac OS, which they removed as a widget. But nonetheless, you can have this on your home screen for iOS 17. Next, this is called Sparkmail. And this is a very nice way to have all of your emails displayed in an inbox widget like this. And as you can see, I have seven unread emails at the moment, and I can just go in and just tick these as read if I wanted to directly from inside the widget. Or if you just hit the inbox button, you can see it will open up the entire mail. Now, if I go back to the home screen, all I can do is just tick one of these to mark them as read, like so. And you can see the numbers are reducing and it's a very quick and easy way to manage all of your emails directly from the home screen. And you can have one or multiple different inboxes set within this app. Next, this is called Home Widget. This one, if you use HomeKit for iOS to set up all of your smart devices around the house, whether that's your TV, your lights or anything like that, you can now control them directly from this interactive widget here. And it's a very convenient way just to have access to all of your devices and maybe have them as a quick access place when you're doing certain things around the house. Even if you come home or leave home, you can just quickly access things from here to turn off the lights, for example. And just as a very simple example, I'm going to use the torch button there to turn my torch on. It does pop open with a little view screen here, which is not actually inside the main app. And if I turn over the phone, you can see the torch is now on. And I can turn it off and you can see it's now off. This does actually perform the action by giving you an open preview of the app. But as soon as you've pressed it from this widget, it actually does perform the action straight away, which is actually quite nice. And if you just want a very quick and easy way to perform that specific action, you can do it from using a widget like this. Next, this is one of my nicest apps that I've tried with the interactive widget. You can see here, I've scheduled a whole bunch of tasks. This app is called Smart Timetable and it allows you to create a multiple list of tasks that you need to undertake, or you can create a schedule for things like your school, college, university, or even your workplace and any meetings and durations that you may have. And if you're someone that's very busy all the time, this is going to be a very convenient app for you. I've created a little sample school schedule inside the app as a timetable, and you can see here the clock is actually ticking, letting me know that my geography lesson has about 50 minutes left inside that lesson because that started at 11.15, it's now 
and there's still some time left to go until the next session so that is currently what is in progress right now and that's actually quite nice to see now if i wanted to tick off any tasks that i have due i can just tick that from there and that will disappear as well let's go ahead and open the app you can see i've scheduled all of these tasks the ones that i've ticked from the widget have been ticked here if you go back to schedule this is where i've created my schedule for this day of course you can create schedules for every single day you don't necessarily need to create a schedule based off of a school or college you can see here this is the standard information that is set by default class type building room and teacher you can customize these delete these and create any type of schedule that you want that relates to your scheduling needs so whether that's for your workplace or your office you can actually customize the fields that you want to display for your schedule this is quite a nice app as well and visually i think it's one of the nicest interactive widgets that i've seen so far so those are my top five interactive widgets that i've come across on the app store and just as a fun one i'm going to give you one bonus one as well which is four in a row widget this is kind of like a nice little game that you can play it's quite popular in the uk this is referred to as connect four you can start playing one player as well and all you need to do is just stop and the computer will automatically make their moves it's a great way to pass the time maybe you're on the train you're commuting to work and you just want to have a bit of fun playing a game then this is actually quite a nice widget to have and you can just do it directly from the home screen you don't ever need to leave if you wanted to reset you can also just reset from the widget itself and there we have it those are my favorite interactive widgets that i've come across on the app store on the release of ios 17. And if you guys come across any other interactive widgets that you'd like everyone else to know about, make sure to put that in the comments down below. Hopefully you found that useful. Make sure to follow me for more tech gadgets and reviews and iPhone iOS tutorials in the near future. Like this video and I'll see you at the next one. Take care.